Since 1909, the Port of London Authority has been responsible for the safety, environment and economy of the River Thames. PLA covers over 95 miles of river and was originally formed to bring orders to London's thriving, often hectic trading route. Two years ago, the company celebrated its centenary. It's now been 102 years since the PLA first carried out its duties on the river. The river is still alive with a booming trade as the port looks after over 20,000 commercial vessels a year. With investment, expansion and exciting infrastructure projects, the Port of London has it all. And why not? After all, it's the UK's second largest port by volume and an essential part of the London economy. We're about to go out on one of the boats to get a little bit closer to some of the action. Once on board, we saw firsthand how the Port of London patrol boats monitor the river's movements. The port plays a pivotal role in thousands of supply chains, with a huge variety of cargoes handled by over 70 port facilities. Here we are um, at the Port of Tilbury on the River Thames. The Port of Tilbury is a very important port complex that makes up the number of port complexes on the River Thames. Over my uh, left shoulder here is a short sea container ship that's come from the near continent um, and is uh, carrying a variety of goods, different containerised goods for the London and South East uh, consumer market. Over my right shoulder, you'll see that ship there, that's a large container ship that will have come from further afield, probably the Far East, with uh, consumer goods being imported into the UK market, particularly the London and South East economy. And also, once it's unloaded, it will undoubtedly load some uh, British exports from British industries to go overseas. Once the cargo has been offloaded, it doesn't have far to go before it's on the M25 racing into the heart of London. So exactly how important is the port for London's economy? It's very, it's very important in, indeed. The Port of London, each year, the different terminals along the River Thames handle about 50 million tonnes of cargo and we expect that to grow further in the years ahead. And much of that demand, that 50 million tonnes, is simply because there is this large consumer population and business population in London and the South East which needs literally to be fed, watered, clothed and uh, where possible enjoy the finer things in life as well and we're servicing all those needs and others.